Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, trading session Thursday, the 2nd of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signals, sig signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, numbers, let's look at the Asian markets first and foremost. A mixed session there. Hang Seng, Shanghai, both lower, Sensex lower as well. Whilst the Nikkei certainly remaining afloat, okay, up 0.8%, but the Shanghai lower certainly is a warning sign. In terms of European indices at the moment, the FTSE itself did start off quite stellar, but it has turned negative now on the back of weaker potential construction uh, data uh, indicating uh, costs rising and therefore inflation concerns certainly will come back to bite. The German DAX, the CAC, all trading flat, FTSE MIB up 0.4%. In terms of economic data out this morning, let's just quickly go through that with you. Uh, Australian trade balance certainly weaker out overnight, uh, although building permits themselves certainly came in potentially a flat stroke weaker. In terms of uh, further data, Swiss GDP certainly came in on the weaker side. German inflation certainly rising again, cause for concern along with European inflation certainly rising as well. CPI data certainly coming in hotter, uh, again a cause for concerns. Uh, PPI data came in at 0.7%, uh, PPI on a year on year up 3.5%. So again, German and Eurozone inflation data certainly higher, again that certainly is a cause for concern. Uh, and again indicates that Draghi will have no obviously choice but to uh, certainly err on the side of uh, a hawkish stance. Uh, we have uh, job cuts and jobs data out in the US now, let's look forward to that. Um, we have uh, Canadian GDP data as well, and that certainly swing the markets. Now, in terms of the uh, uh, the actual uh, central banks, they certainly have been on of a hawkish nature out overnight in terms of uh, economic data and uh, forecasts. Uh, the dollar itself certainly has been rallying, although the FTSE certainly hasn't come off much more than it, it should have. At present, the FTSE still uh, languishing in that 7370 zone, which we'll look at the technical picture now, and let's see exactly where we stand. For my understanding, like I said, my bias certainly remains one of a bearish nature, given the uh, Mr. Trump's uh, lack of uh, policy details with regards to fiscal stimulus going forward, even though the market is giving the uh, the Trump administration the benefit of a doubt, given the talk of a potential one trillion stimulus. Uh, again, until we see the numbers, until we see the details, I think it is certainly um, uh, ambitious and certainly quite dangerous as well from a risk perspective to actually give the benefit of the doubt, given the uh, the lack of any real substantial uh, information regarding the, how that fiscal stimulus will be implemented. Okay, In terms of economic data, again, like I said, UK construction as well uh, did actually come out more or less in line, but it was the uh, input costs rising that's a concern. And again, inflation concerns certainly are not being uh, taken into consideration in terms of the markets. Uh, German DAX at the moment is stuck at that weekly resistance candle. As you can see, weekly resistance candle here, uh, and this is the key zone that we're looking to. If the market does break out, then 12,400 certainly is next on the German DAX. Daily chart at the moment certainly push, pushing higher. 60 minute chart, you have that massive unfilled gap at 11,850 below, and that certainly will be the potential gap fill uh, zone from my perspective. 10 minute chart certainly looks over exhausted. And like I said, we need to retrace at least 50% of this gap at present, okay? So again, watch for further downside price action. In terms of the uh, French CAC, again, the French CAC certainly remains stellar, remaining strong regardless of the uh, concerns that are ongoing with regards to the French election. Mr. Macron, Macron unveiling a potential stimulus program, again, certainly helping. But we are now into resistance. You're looking at key resistance at 4970, looking to hold and looking to flush on the weekly chart. Daily chart as well, horizontal resistance, and you, are, you do have the doji candle there. 60 minute chart, you have a retrace or support zone at 4912, 4910. That really is the zone that you're looking for. And then obviously, you've got a gap fill below at 4960. So, watch out below on the French CAC. That's my understanding and my interpretation. 10 minute chart certainly is looking exhausted now. Okay, no real higher highs. Okay, so looking for lower lows and lower highs at present. In terms of the FTSE 100, Quickly, uh, we've failed to make a higher high, okay, so certainly indicating weakness. You have support around the 7360, 7350 zone. 60 minute chart at the moment certainly looks like after that doji was put in at 7395. You're looking at potentially testing that 7350 zone. So watch for 7350 to be tested on the FTSE 100. 10 minute chart again at 7360 zone and then 7340 zone. And then you have 7320 zone all coming into potential play. Okay, now in terms of the euro stocks at the moment, certainly looks exhausted on a 10-minute chart there. 
uh, daily chart certainly into resistance weekly chart you'll see is certainly uh, basically it's in no man's land at the moment okay the rex real res uh, support level is at 3520 on the uh, on the actual euro stock so keep an eye on that but german germany and french uh, france certainly are on the weaker side 10 minute chart at the moment like i said certainly looks exhausted no higher highs double top certainly going in and you're looking at testing the potential lower you have gap fill as well below so bear that in mind at 3320 okay so i think that's a good summation of european indices today uh, again we'll see whether or not mr trump's rally can continue okay mr trump's benefit of doubt the trade certainly continues from my understanding certainly not it looks over exhausted uh, your us indices look exhausted too and we'll see whether or not we continue with the uh, series of higher highs on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye